everyone! In this video, I have a walkthrough on how to beat Cradle of Death, the new StarCraft II co-op mission that just came out today. And this will be a guide on how to beat the mission on Brutal Difficulty. Right from the start of the mission, you are given the most important item in the entire mission, and that is called the Artifact Truck. Both you and your teammate are given an artifact truck from the start. So that means there are going to be two artifact trucks on the map at all times. If one gets destroyed, you have to wait for it to respawn. You don't want that to happen, so make sure to protect your artifact truck at all times. Continuing on with this point, there are three main items that you're going to use your artifact truck for. The first one is the main objective, that is to escort your artifact trucks to each main objective location. So that means your artifact truck and your teammate's artifact truck. At every main objective location, there will be at least two gatekeeper constructs. And these gatekeeper constructs are going to be hovering on top of a beacon. That beacon is where you will need to place your artifact truck. Both you and your teammate will have to place your artifact trucks onto those beacons. Once both beacons are covered by both of your artifact trucks, then the hybrid facility will explode in a nuclear explosion, and that area will be cleared out and you can move on to the next main objective location. Like I said, there will be at least two gatekeeper constructs. There could also be more in front of those beacons sitting around, so just make sure you are prepared with a large enough force to take them out. There are two separate arrangements for how the main objectives are going to be set up. The first arrangement is you go to the top and you take out the hybrid facility main objective. Then you're going to go to the right and take out the resource stockpile main objective. Then to the left and take out, take out the Xenon reactor main objective. And then to the bottom left to take out the Vespin refinery main objective. And that's all four in that arrangement. For the second arrangement, you're going to go to the top and take out the hybrid facility once again, except this time you're going to go to the left, take out the Xenon reactor, then you're going to go to the right, take out the resource stockpile, and then the bottom right to take out the Terrazine extractors. And then, one more thing to add to this, depending on your arrangement, that's going to determine where your bonus objectives are going to spawn. And for your bonus objectives, you're going to transport the artifact trucks to Mobius Research Outpost. No matter what arrangement you are playing, you're always transporting these artifact trucks to Mobius Research Outpost at every single bonus objective location. Okay, so now what I was going to say was, depending on your arrangement, if your second main objective location is to go to the right, then your bonus objective is going to spawn in the top right corner first, and then the second bonus objective will spawn in the bottom left corner. Now, if you go to the left for your second main objective, which is to the Xenon Reactors, then your bonus objective is going to spawn in the top left corner first, and then it will proceed to be in the bottom right corner of the map for the second bonus objective. So just keep that in mind. And then every single time a bonus objective spawns, I would highly suggest going for the bonus objective first before you go for your main objectives if you want to get those bonus objectives completed. If you wait, you might run out of time, and time is essential on this co-op mission. And I just wanted to add to this that this would be the second item that you need to use your artifact trucks for, which would be those bonus objectives. The third item that you will be using your artifact trucks for is taking out gatekeeper constructs. They'll just be sitting there until your units get close to them. Once your units get close to these gatekeeper constructs, they become alive and they'll start launching missiles at your units. Unfortunately, you cannot destroy these gatekeeper constructs unless you use your artifact truck. These artifact trucks dis not only disable the gatekeeper constructs, but they also allow you to do damage to these gatekeeper constructs. So you need to always be moving your artifact trucks around with your army. At this point, with the information I have given you, you should be able to beat this mission on brutal difficulty as long as you have good enough macro and micro skills. But wait, I have three more tips for you. The first tip is to put your artifact truck into a hotkey. I use hotkey 2. What this does is as long as your artifact truck is in that hotkey, you will always be able to select it, even after you are done using it on a main objective. So say it blows up from a nuclear explosion from one of those main objectives, like the Xenon Reactor or destroying the hybrid facility, 
then it respawns. Well, as long as you have that hotkey set up, you can just press, for example, in my case, hotkey 2. I can press hotkey 2 and I can select that artifact truck as soon as it respawns and I can move it around anywhere I'm at on the map at that moment. I can press hotkey 2 and I can move that artifact truck to where I want it. Tip number 2 is that enemy waves constantly come to attack your base throughout this mission and they start coming at 4.05 in-game time. And then after that, the second wave comes at 6.05, and after that point, they come at three minute intervals. So they will be coming at 9.05, 12.05, 15.05, 18.05, 20 20.05, 24.05, so on and so forth. But generally, I would say you're probably done with the mission at around 24 minutes, depending on how good your teammate is and how good you can work together with your teammate. And the third and final tip is that enemy waves are going to be dropping in wherever your artifact truck is, not regarding your base. So if your artifact truck is moving around the map in an open area, then it is free game for enemy waves to drop pod in on top of that artifact truck. So just make sure you are guarding that truck and watching out for those enemy waves so they don't destroy your artifact trucks. With this information, I believe you should be able to effectively beat the Cradle of Death co-op mission. I really hope this walkthrough video was helpful for you. And if you have any questions at all, make sure to ask them in the comment section. And if you have any requests at all, make sure to post those in the comment section as well. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And leave a like if you like what you saw. Thank you all, and I'll see you all in the next one.